In the beginning, we made a commitment at 11 Alive to bring you facts, not fear, because information can actually help settle the fears that can feel like they're swirling around us. There's so much information to sort through. We're so glad to have NBC medical correspondent Dr. John Torres joining us from my home in South Atlanta to his in New York City. John, I wanted to start off with what we're seeing all over social media, people sharing patterns for making their own masks. Do people need to be wearing them? who should be sort through that information that's going around so much right now. Cheryl, this is a great mask debate because you're getting some experts on one side saying, you know, they might help out a little bit, but you're getting the CDC and the World Health Organization both, both coming out today saying, you know, they're not really going to help. People shouldn't be wearing them in the public. And one of the main reasons is because there's actually some studies showing that they could make things a little bit worse and make it more likely to catch the virus. Here's why. When people wear masks, if they don't wear them appropriately, if they're not putting them on over their nose and their mouth and not keep, and keeping them dry, then the virus could actually get in there, especially if they get inside that six foot perimeter we usually talk about, that social distancing. And it gives people a false sense of security so they get closer to other people. On top of that, it's not protecting the eyes, which is another way the virus can get in. But some experts are saying, hold on a second, it might offer a little bit of protection. And what a lot of people are saying is, you know, let's keep, everybody says, the surgical masks, the N95 masks, reserve those for the frontline workers. They need those desperately because they're constantly in, in somebody's face who might have coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But for everybody else, you know, will these help a little bit? They might offer a little bit of protection, but you have to wear them appropriately. You have to wear them constantly. The best protection you can get, washing your hands, keeping that six, six foot dif distance. There's not much else you can do that's better than that. All right, a question we're getting a lot, I think you are as well. Once someone has COVID-19 and they recover, are they essentially immune? Like if you have the chicken pox or can you get that virus again? And we're going to talk about it on nightly news tonight, of that same subject. Uh, but the bottom line is it doesn't seem to be because this virus really isn't mutating as it goes around the world. And we don't think it's going to mutate much going forward. Once you get the virus in your body, you build up antibodies, the virus goes away, those antibodies stick around, and they help protect you from getting it a second time. Problem is we don't know how long that protection is going to last. It might last a year, it might last longer. Main thing is going forward, especially if it comes back next year, we all need to keep our guard up and make sure we're doing the things we need to do to stay safe, especially while they're developing the medicines and the vaccines and everything else that are going to help us out in the long run. Dr. John, thanks for the time. We look forward to seeing you tonight coming up 630 here in Atlanta on NBC Nightly News.